Good day, guys. You're listening to English Made Simple. This is episode 40, numero 40. Good day, everyone. Crikey, this is episode 40. <laughs> Crikey, and we're still here learning. Awesome. How to speak English with confidence. Excellent. You've come to the right place place. Welcome to the new listeners and uh, welcome back to the old listeners. Thank you for joining me. My name is Milena and I am your weona and your podcast teacher. <laughs> um, hey, did you enjoy my last episode? Uh, it was supposed to be short and sweet, but it turned out to be long and sweet. <laughs> Regardless, um, it was sweet nonetheless. I thought there was a lot of valuable tips in the last episode. We learned how to spell our names. It sounds so simple, doesn't it? Spell your name. But if you have a complicated name, like my last name, for example, my surname, then uh, you have to be a little bit more creative when it comes to spelling your name. Oh, and uh, we learned about nicknames in the last episode. It would be a good idea to give yourself a nickname if you have a long name. Uh, that's just a suggestion. You don't have to, of course. So, I trust you've been uh, having a great weekend so far. I hope you had a great weekend. First of all, let me send a shout out to a special listener. Maria Gabriela, <laughs> who is another raving fan of English Made Simple. Thank you so much for your nice comments, Maria. Wow, Latin countries have so many nice and exotic names, don't they? Maria Gabriela, Paola, Marcela. So keep listening, Maria, and don't forget to share this episode with your friends. All right, guys, let's begin. Today's lesson is going to be a little bit different. I decided to step away from the grammar, but we are still going to learn some new things. Uh, we are going to learn a few phrasal verbs and slang in this episode. Uh, so we will learn the new vocabulary, that's for sure. So keep listening, guys. We will learn some facts about uh, Australia, Australia <laughs> and what it is like living in Australia. This is because I wanted to answer a question from one of our listeners, Eliandro from Brazil. Uh, what it is like to live in Australia? Are there poisonous and dangerous animals everywhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I've decided to do an episode about this. I would also like to uh, share some common misconceptions about Australia. Let me ask you, when, uh, when we say Australia, what is the first thing that comes to your mind? Probably you're thinking uh, everyone is blonde, you know, uh, rubios, I think in Spanish, blonde hair. Everyone is blonde, there's tall people, everybody's surfing. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, some common misconceptions about Australia. I also want to dedicate this episode to one of the greatest Australians there are. This guy cared a lot for animals and the wildlife. His name is Steve Irwin. You might know him as the crocodile hunter. He had a TV show as well. He was uh, an Australian wildlife expert, television personality, and he was a conservationist. He started the Crocodile Show in Australia Zoo. This is located in Queensland, in the north of Australia. I've been there before. He also studied this catchphrase, Crikey! Crikey! It's very Australian now. It just means, wow, amazing! Crikey! <laughs> it's a very Australian um, thing to say. If you have some spare time, look him up online. Go on the internet and type Steve Irwin. I will put a link to Steve Irwin's biography. Truly a great guy and there ought to be more people like him in the world, for sure. Right, let me be honest, guys. I had reservations about moving here from little old New Zealand. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, Kiwis living in Australia. 
Um, Kiwis are people from New Zealand. We call Kiwis. As soon as uh, I think of Australia, I think of crocodiles and snakes and spiders and sharks. To think of means to think about something or somebody. It's just another way to say to think about. So when I think of Australia, I think about crocodiles, uh, snakes, serpientes, spiders, arañas, and sharks, tiburones. Yes, um, yeah, that, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Okay. <laughs> In today's episode, I want to cover five topics um, about Australia. General facts about Australia, culture, food, sport, and the wildlife. Just the animals that are free in the wild. Let's start off with some quick facts about Australia. Because I'm not really good at geography, as we all know, I approached my master, my teacher, Google, to find some interesting facts about Australia. Well, Australia, the name itself, is derived from the Latin word Terra Australis, meaning southern land, two words actually, Terra Australis, meaning southern land. Australia is also known as Down Under by Australians. It is slang. You will sometimes hear it in the movies when they refer to Australia. They will say, oh, Down Under. Uh, these are two words, uh, Down and Under. Down Under is slang, an informal name for Australia. It's just a joke between friends. Well, my friends in Europe often confuse New Zealand and Australia. I don't know why. They are completely different countries. New Zealand is independent of Australia. They are two different countries. Uh, they have English as the official language. And these two countries are also part of the Commonwealth of countries. Commonwealth is the former British Empire. Excellent. So we are learning something new today. Everybody's learning something. <laughs> Well, some famous Australians, let's let's start off with something easy. Some famous Australians you might know already, actors such as Mel Gibson from Mad Max, remember? Mel Gibson, Nicole Kidman. Uh, we have singers like Kylie Minogue, uh, rock bands like ACDC. There's another one, Jet, Bon Jovi, Peter Andre. Do you know who Peter Andre is? He sings this song, Mysterious Girl. Yeah, do you remember this song from early 90s? That was the blast from the past. Yeah, he's, uh, he's an Australian guy. Right, uh, the population of Australia is 24 million, okay? Uh, that's not a lot for such a huge land mass. There's a lot of area to cover in Australia and 24 million people is not a really big population. There are 600 million people in Brazil alone, okay? It's just Brazil as a country. In the whole of uh, Australia, as the continent is 24 million, right? You can see the comparison there. So I moved uh, from New Zealand about nine years ago now. And uh, in the last nine years, while living in Australia, I got to meet people from different parts of the world. I have friends from Singapore, China, Malaysia, India, Sri Lanka, Colombia, Brazil, Mexico, Chile, Bolivia, Peru, Canada, Italy, Argentina, Holland. Oh, my God. Now, when I think about it, there is just so many, so many different countries. Uh, there's a lot of New Zealanders as well here, <laughs> and Australians, of course, but it's very, very multicultural. That's what I like about uh, living in Australia. Thanks to the immigrants that come from different countries around the world, they, they come and they settle in Australia, Australia now has a diverse range of cuisine, different types of food. So let's uh, go and talk about the food now. Australian cuisine has been transformed after the World War II because there's a lot of immigrants coming from Europe after the World War II, particularly from the Mediterranean, uh, like the Greece and Italy. Uh, they basically helped uh, to build a thriving Australian coffee culture. We have a really strong coffee culture here. 
And I've mentioned this in one of my episodes before. Uh, there is also a strong influence of Asian cultures that have introduced their own cuisine, their own delicious cuisine like Thai and Chinese and Malaysian types of food are delicious. But what is the food of Australia really? What is the typical food people eat here? Typical food of uh, Australia uh, is Vegemite, pavlova, lemingtons and meat pies. They are kind of regarded as the iconic Australian foods. Vegemite is something that uh, Australians will have for breakfast. And Vegemite looks like Nutella. It is nothing like Nutella. Vegemite, you take a little bit of the Vegemite and you spread it on toast with butter. Okay, and it's really, really salty food. And uh, people here love it, but uh, it's not something that anybody new coming to the country will enjoy. Pavlova is a dessert. Lemingtons are Australian dessert as well. Uh, meat pies are something that's, that's very Australian and it's also popular in New Zealand. Australian and New Zealand foods are quite similar. Now the best part, the Australian wine. This is produced in the southern part of Australia, the cooler parts of the country, like Melbourne, like Victoria, the state of Victoria. It has really, really yummy wines. But I gotta say, you know, even though the wine in the wine in Australia is good, I do prefer the Chilean wine. I do prefer the wine from Chile. Um, I still like the taste of it. Did you know there are over 200 different languages and dialects spoken in Australia, including 45 indigenous languages? The most common non-English spoken languages are Italian, Greek, Cantonese, Arabic, Vietnamese and Mandarin. They're the most common ones after English. What do people do here for sports? Hmm. The main sports here are cricket, <laughs> very British thing. Cricket, uh, I know it's popular in India and Sri Lanka. They're really good at cricket. Uh, the rugby league, uh, Australian football league, swimming and surfing. Melbourne is the main city for sport activities. There's a lot of uh, sporting events happening in Melbourne, like the Formula One. We have tennis, Australian Open. Uh, there's also horse racing as well. There's uh, surfing in Victoria uh, on Bells Beach. Uh, there's a uh, world championships in surfing here in uh, close to Melbourne. And now, guys, the fun part animals, the wildlife. The highest number of the world's poisonous creatures are found here in Australia. <laughs> yes, uh, everything you can think of. Because it has a tropical and subtropical climate. We have like sharks and snakes and, and crocodiles living in different parts of Australia. Okay, one typical native Australian animal is koala. You have probably heard of this one. It's a cute little bear-like animal with sharp claws. Koala sleeps 20 hours a day and only moves from one tree to another to look for food. It's, it's a very lazy animal. Uh, kangaroos, another symbol of Australia. They can be seen everywhere outside of the cities. They can be seen everywhere in Australia. There are even farms uh, with kangaroos that are not wild, they are tamed, they are trained a little bit and they are open for tourists so you can come close and feed a kangaroo and they are really really magnificent creatures, really strong. I have fed a kangaroo once, <laughs> they are really big, really uh, intimidating to look at. And crocodiles, oh my goodness, I haven't seen a crocodile in the wild, I have seen it in the zoo. They usually live in the north of Australia, in the tropical parts of the country. There are cities like Keynes or Darwin. They have crocodiles living close, actually, close to the cities. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen one in the wild, but I uh, have seen one in the zoo. <laughs> they are really scary, scary looking things. Another thing, I have never seen a snake since I've been living here in, for the past nine years. I have never seen a snake, um, but I know for sure that they, are, they live somewhere in the suburbs. They are 
somewhere close, but there are instances of snakes appearing in the suburbs and people seeing snakes. Yeah, uh, I, I read in the news and it happens, but I have never seen one myself. Uh, I have seen spiders though. I have seen spiders. Uh, it's very common to see a uh, red back spider. The spider, a little spider that has a red back and another spider called huntsman spider. Yes, I'm just waiting to see one. And these spiders, they come out and um, they're probably in my car and they probably sometimes I see them in my house. <laughs> And they're quite big spiders. They're big. They're really ugly. Muy feos. Uh, really ugly. Uh, but uh, they're not poisonous. And some people keep them as pets. Like mascotas. Pets. That's not really the fun part of living in Australia. Is seeing these animals. And we have to adjust living with them. Uh, it's not scary. <laughs> Overall, guys, Australia is a pretty safe place to live in. And now we're approaching the end of the episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you learned something new as well. This show was a little bit different. We learned something new about Australia, something interesting about Australia. Now, I would like to know what's interesting about your countries. I would like to know, do you have fun facts or interesting things about your countries where you are living right now? I'm now active on Instagram and uh, Facebook group. Uh, you can let me know in the Facebook group or just uh, tag at English Made Simple on Instagram and um, show something that's unique to your country. And if you enjoyed today's episode, guys, please don't forget to share it with your friends. Sharing is caring. Don't forget, all transcriptions are available on my website, EnglishMadeSimple.net. If you have any questions on any of the topics we covered in this show, please let me know in the Facebook group, English Made Simple, or on my website. This podcast is for you, and I'm here to help you learn. So let's do this, guys. Arrivederci. Hasta la próxima.